Hello again, welcome to Lifting with Arthritis. It's been a while since my last video, and I just wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, today we're talking about pull-ups. And before you say, I can't do no pull-ups, you stop the video, I want to, this video is going to be going through beginners to expert level pull-up. Um, I know too many people that think pull-ups are just too hard. For me personally, it's helped my arthritis. Uh, there's been times in my past where my arthritis was bad in my arms. I couldn't even straighten my arm. My arm was stuck like this. And, and what I would do is I would hang from the pull-up bar and force my arm straight. It hurt a little bit, but if I did that a couple of times afterwards, my arm had more flexibility and mobility. So I strongly, strongly recommend pull-ups. It's arguably the best back exercise there is. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you is ways to do pull-ups if you can't do them at all and ways to help you to build up that strength to, to where you can do pull-ups. Um, so I'm gonna start at the beginning, beginner level. If you've never done a pull-up in your life, you can't even hope to do a pull-up. What we're gonna do is, if you, if you're, I did do a first before we do this, if you have a gym, they have a lat pull-down machine. Uh, it's that machine where you sit down, you have to put a pad over your knees, and you just grab the, the bar and you pull it down to your chest. And just do that, it, it's, similar, it's similar to a pull-up, you do that, and as you get better at doing that, you put the weight higher and higher, and once you get a high enough weight, you'll start feeling it trying to pull you off the seat. That means you're ready to start doing pull-ups. Um, but if you do work at a home like I do, then you're gonna use bands, or cable bands, and just attach them to like an eye bolt in the ceiling, or wrap them, or, you know, do it in your closet, wrap them around your closet uh, pole or something like that. And all you're gonna do is you get down on your knees and just simulate a pull-up motion. Just pull down like this. You simulate pull-up motion. And if it's if it gets too easy, then you grab it higher. Grab it like this and do it like that. And now the better you get at it, the higher up you grab it. And you do and do high reps. Okay? And the worse you are at pull-ups, the more sets you should do, do also. If you're not good at pull-ups at all, you, you have no hope, do like six sets. Do six sets as many reps as you can. And do that and to, and to build up your strength and stamina to help you get ready for a pull-up. That's beginner one. Another way, once you start doing, once you're doing that, another way to ease your way into pull-ups is you're just gonna practice the downward motion. Use a chair, or what have you to get it to put yourself on the pull-up bar. You can get this pull-up bar at any Walmart or Target, wherever. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the chair, or in this case the stool, to put you on the bar. And so just you're just gonna start in the upward position and lower yourself down. So even if you don't have the strength to put yourself up, just let go and lower yourself down slowly. As slow as you can anyway. Maybe the first couple times you do it, you fall almost immediately down. But if you do that first, then this that'll help you build up to this. And you're just gonna do it, do it like I said, six sets if you need be. But you just lower yourself down into the upward position and then fall slowly, as slowly as you can. And that'll help you build up the strength to hold your body weight. And between the two of these two exercises, that'll help you ease your way into pull-ups. Um, Obviously, then once you get those two things down, you do the basic pull-up. Most people do, you keep your legs tied behind you. So you just grab the pull-up bar, keep your legs behind you, and pull up. That's a basic pull-up, everybody knows that. So you do that, and once you start getting good at that, you do, what I like to do, my favorite way of doing it is doing an L pull-up. I like this because you don't have to do, if you do this, a lot of sets of this, you don't even need to do sit-ups in your workout because it, it, it forces your abs to be so tight. But it is a very uh, hard exercise to do. So you just, just like a regular pull-up, except this way, you keep your legs tight in front of you. And then pull up. I can hardly talk while I do it because it's hard for me. <laughs> but by doing that, you don't swing either. A lot of problem, problems people have when they do pull-ups the more they do, the faster they do them, the more the body starts swinging. But if you keep do the L pull-up, your body won't swing. 
you'll stay stable, and it can help you keep perfect form. <clears throat> um, another, another advanced pull-up is, I heard it called the windshield wiper. There's different names for it. Excuse me. What you're gonna do is pull yourself up into the upper position, go to one side, go to the other, go to the middle, and back down. Uh, let me give you an example. So you just, with your legs, and also, while you do this, these, some of these other pull-ups, you try to keep your abs tight, keep your legs out in front of you, helps eliminate swinging. So you're just gonna go up, one side, other side, middle, down. Up, one side, other side, middle, down. That's all. And then, um, another popular exercise you'll see, you know, these big guys doing at the gym, is they do weighted pull-ups. You'll see them, they'll have a chain around their waist with like a 45 pound plate underneath it and be doing pull-ups. Honestly, at one point, I thought that would be impossible for me, but I do, I do doing a lot of sets, I got better at it. And so I can do them now, but I work out at home and I don't have a chain like that to put around my waist. So here's a tip. Just take the weight, take a weight, and hold it, you gotta have, the, the only problem is you have to have the leg strength to hold it. So, assuming you've been doing your leg workouts and you got those legs, just hold it with your thighs, make sure you got a good grip on it, and you just pull it like that. That's it. Um, and that's all. Again, um, don't be afraid of pull-ups. They are fantastic. They have never hurt my arthritis, only helped it. Um, highly recommend them. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Anything you want to see in these videos, future videos, please let me know. Uh, I love to give tips and I love to help you out with any questions you may have. All right, thanks a lot. Have a blessed day.